Betty Wood and I'm proud and privileged to be the principal of Warren County Middle School. I'd like to first tell you a little bit about our mission here at Warren County Middle School. Uh, as all schools, we have to meet national and state expectations and so those AYP goals and state expectations are very important to us. So part of our mission is just to be sure that our students are reaching those goals each and every year. But above that, we have high expectations for our students and we always want to build in as many resources as possible to be sure that all students can succeed. Uh, we practice the middle school philosophy here at Warren County Middle School. We are a true middle school in that we have 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students in our school. Part of the middle school philosophy espouses to the fact that we practice teaming, that our teachers work together collectively for students from 70 or 75 to maybe 110 within each team. Uh, we practice an advisee, advisor program where students are matched up with one particular teacher and through the course of a year they have an opportunity to work with that teacher on self-esteem, on cooperation, on, toler on tolerance. We have a primetime curriculum that we use within our advisor advisee program. That primetime curriculum is attentive to the needs of this special group of students that we serve, but it also reflects the needs of our students here in Warren County because it's based on YRBS surveys and other surveys that we do within the school system. Uh, in working this middle school, there are lots of other things that, that happen in our school. When people look at our school, I think they think we're a large school because we do occupy what was formerly a high school facility. Yet because of the middle school philosophy, we are able to group those students by grade level and then subgroup those students into teams. In our sixth grade, we have three teams. They operate pretty much on our first floor academically. On the second floor of our school, we have our seventh grade teams and they too flow to a different beat than the sixth graders and then in the eighth grade we have two teams academically and those two teams are segregated in that one team is upstairs on this main floor on the, on the second floor of the main building and the other eighth grade team is in our related arts building so really while we have 826 or so students we operate as a school within a school within a school and that we have a sixth grade school a seventh grade school and an eighth grade school and we're subdivided into teams that make teachers just responsible for some 100 students and then those teachers meet together in teaming groups so that they can collectively talk about a student and his interest or a student and his needs and so they can work together for the common good of those students. We do have a diverse student population. Uh, we are a poverty school meaning we have from about 53 to 60 percent students who eat on free and reduced lunch we have about a 26 percent special ed population. We, our student body is made up of all kinds of ethnic uh, configurations. We have black students, white sp students, Hispanic students, some Pacific Islanders. And because of that composition, it makes us a diverse learning community, but it also brings to us their cultural uh, richness and they can provide for us things that we ordinarily wouldn't get to see. So we have a great diverse population here at the middle school. I currently have 61 fabulous teachers. There are no better teachers in this school system or in this state than those teachers who teach here at Warren County Middle School. We have 20 other staff members who work with students one-on-one -on -one or work with teachers one-on-one -on -one or work within our building performing administrative tasks that we need to get done. And they do a super job. And of course, their marching orders are that we need to address the needs of our students and our parents when they come into the building. I have two guidance counselors, two assistant principals, and a curriculum coordinator that kind of could be grouped as a teacher's teacher. She works with those teachers and enables them to find what they need in order to meet the needs of students. We're very fortunate in that we have three vocationally funded programs here at the middle school. They are tech ed, and that's a career exploration class. We have a computer class that's called Computer 3 Keyboarding. Miss Cindy Redmond teaches that class and those students perform at very high rates in terms of computers. We have about 65 to 70 percent of our eighth grade students that are proficient in keyboarding skills before they ever leave this school. We also have a teen living class that's funded through vocational education and our seventh and eighth grade students attend that class and it is a state approved curriculum that's very important in order to meet the needs of the students that we serve. Uh, we have several unique programs here at the middle school that are related to student performance. I might first talk about our high-end learners. 
We have about 90 students who will receive an Algebra I credit this year as an eighth grader. We also have a high performing group of students who are in an advanced science class and they're performing at very high rates under, under the directorship of Mr. Jeff Watson and they do a super job with that. We also have some, some very special programs that are related to getting kids up to speed. Uh, we have a Math Plus class that when we identify that students might be having trouble with some concepts within our school, we take those students out of their regular rotation of related arts and PE and we place them with a teacher who can assist them in gathering math skills. When we find out that there's a student who doesn't read on grade level or is not receiving services, we try to figure out a way to get them with Miss Debbie Barnes who runs our, math, our Reading Plus classroom and in that classroom she uses a special program called Jamestown Navigator and she addresses the needs of those students and she encourages those students and tries to get them to be fluent in reading skills and the, the overall goal is to get them back on grade level and back into uh, performing like all other students in the school. Uh, those are some special programs that we have that are related to academics. I might mention another program which is our Fast Forward program. Fast Forward is federally funded for the most part and that program is based on scientific research that says the brain is elastic and that it can be retrained. And what we've found at Warren County Middle School is that when that important reading concept was taught earlier, they didn't get it. So for us, all along life's route, they've still not captured that third grade reading skill or that second grade reading skill. And because of this brain research that Fast Forward is founded upon, they're able to go back and retrain the brain so that those students can learn to read, learn to react fluently. We also find that it gives students an, uh, a uh, longer attention span so that what they might be missing, the teacher's saying in class, but because of fast forward, he is then able to refocus and stay attentive to that teacher so that he can hear the commands from the teacher and that he can relate to the instruction that she's about to give them. So fast forward has enabled us to, uh, to meet the needs of students and to help them overcome reading disabilities, but it's also helped us in all other content areas and we've seen that with our TCAP and our TVAS data. Those are some important academic programs. Beyond that, I have a super group of teachers at this school who want to volunteer or who are supplemented for some extracurricular activities or activities that relate to additional academic skills that students might gain at a different kind of setting after school. And sometimes it's just about giving kids the encouragement they need to do homework. And once they do the homework and it gets turned into the proper teacher, they're able to feel success academically. And we know and we expect that success breeds success. So we need to give those students what they need in order to capture success. Some of those after school programs, I, I, I hope I'll get an opportunity to show you. Um, one of them uh, relates around our pep club. Our pep club is sponsored by Farrah Griffith and she does a super job. She has a great bubbly personality. She coaches our volleyball team. The pep club is not only about getting students engaged in extracurricular activities, but it's also about supporting all activities of the school. Our pep club actually, uh, what we do is we sell a pep club card and when we do, then students get in at half price for every activity that we have at the school. Those monies are then used to provide uh, food and drink or prizes at games or pep rallies. But additionally, those funds are used to help us to provide, to provide incentives for our students for our reading programs and uh, our uh, accelerated reader program. And it, it gives us the opportunity to let the pep club sponsor some important academic activities. This year our pep club sponsored our student buses who went to Coffee County to support our basketball teams as they played at Coffee County this year. So the pep club does a lot of great work, not necessarily just related to athletics, but it also helps us with things in academics. We have a great PTO here at Warren County Middle School. Our new president is Mr. Jim Carden. Uh, Mr. Carden has stepped in at a time when we believe that it's important for a PTO to espouse to what we believe is important in middle school and to know the philosophies and the missions of the school and they came up with a mission statement that's just as simple as this to support teaching and learning at Warren County Middle School. End of statement. And with everything they do, 
they support us, whether it be with incentives for teachers or incentives for a student, they sponsor us. Um, our archery team is a unique aspect of Warren County Middle School. That team began some two years ago with a grant from the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency and some sporting good companies. They purchased our initial equipment. But over the course of two years, and Warren County Middle School was one of, I think, 36 pilot programs in the state of Tennessee. With the support of Mr. Jimmy Walker, one of our assistant principals, and the directorship of Miss Mary Greer, one of our great PE teachers, they have taken that archery program to a brand new level. This year, our archery team is the number one team in the state of Tennessee. We had overall scores that were higher than even high school students when we met. And our archery team is working now real hard to gain support because they want to go to the national tournament in Louisville uh, later on in uh, May, I believe. So that archery team is unique to this school. And if I'm not mistaken, Bobby Ray has a feeder program going on there where they've also adopted the archery program. Uh, we have a great afternoon program that's called LEAPS. And if I'm not mistaken, it's funded through some lottery money that has not been used in, in the lottery process with higher ed. And because of that money, we're able to hire some additional staff who work with at-risk students. And in working with at-risk students, again, it's not just about academics. It's about giving them the support, the encouragement that they need to succeed in school. And again, we believe that success breeds success. If we can make them successful in the classroom one or two times, and that may be homework related, or it could be they helped provide study time for that student who wouldn't get that at home, and they make a good grade on the test, then they see how important that success has been, and it just breeds more success. And we've seen great gains by those students who've been in our LEAPS program. But beyond that, LEAPS exposes students to things that they won't normally get in the routine school day. And our, our job here as educators is to push students to new levels. And through all of our academic program, our programs that we have in the afternoon, and even going on before school starts every day, we believe that what we are doing is pushing students to new, to new levels because we're, we're meeting our state and our national benchmarks, as I said our mission was, but more importantly, we're providing the resources that kids need to succeed at very high levels. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to my administrative staff here at Warren County Middle School. They're in charge of climate control. So this is Ms. Christy Rogers, and this is Mr. Jimmy Walker. Mr. Walker also serves as our athletic director, and Ms. Ms. Rogers takes care of clubs and activities at our school, but they are, to, are, they are also uh, disciplinary principals here at Warren County Middle School. This is our Fast Forward Labs at Warren County Middle School, and my name's Mrs. Donna Gonder, and this is Pam McCulloch, and this is just one of the special things we do for our students here at Warren County Middle School through our Related Arts curriculum. Fast Forward's based on over 30 years of scientific research. It actually started in the medical field, and it's been shown to boost the student's brain capacity when they go back to the regular classroom. They should be able to have better reading comprehension, pay more attention. Uh, it helps their listening skills, their processing. It's just a great program, and we're extremely fortunate to have it here at Warren County Middle School. I'm Monica Moore, Instructional Coordinator at Warren County Middle School. What you see behind me is our TCAT review using our Promethean board, the technology that's been provided by the school system. What we've done here is we've taken our eighth grade class and we have divided them into three groups. And we've given each group a pod. And as a question uh, appears on the board, they get to pod in their answer. And a graph, like what you see here, comes up automatically and it shows us who got the right answer. This is great in the classroom. It provides immediate feedback. Uh, research says that feedback is the best possible thing that we can provide for our students.
I'm Mary Greer from Warren County Middle School. Uh, I helped coach the archery team along with Mindy Davis and Jimmy Walker. We started this, we had an opportunity about four years ago to go and be trained to have an archery program. This is called a, a arch, national archery program in the school. And we have all our students in physical education class to go through this program. Last year was the first year to offer the archery tournament and we participated in this and we came in third place. This is offered for both boys and girls, and when we go to a tournament, we have to have so many boys and so many girls to participate. Um, this year we got to go, 2008, got to go to the state tournament. It was located in Cookville, and we had 16 boys and girls to participate in this. We came in first place, which is the state championship, and we had four students to place in the top shooters, and we had one to be the top overall shooter of high school, middle school, or elementary school. So we have the number one team overall for high schools, middle schools, and then we have the top shooter, who, who is Kyle Pelham. And he did an excellent job. We're expecting to go to the national tournament, which will be in Louisville, Kentucky, in May and we're gonna participate there. We're hoping to come in because we understand more closely the rules and what the competition is like, and we hope to come in in a good place in the national tournament this year. We go by Olympic rules, so they go by whistle signals so that everybody will be going by the same signals. There are supposed to be 1,900 students participating in the national tournament, and that's a lot of students shooting at one time, so they all have to follow the same rules. They all shoot five arrows at a time. They end up shooting 30 total arrows, and then they're scored. They can score a possible 300 points when they shoot. And as I said, Kyle Pelham scored 281 out of 300. So we're very proud of him, and we expect him to do real well in the national. Warren County Middle School softball team. We are the only fast pitch program for the school system in Warren County. We're serving the whole entire county. Um, here I have some girls that are swinging and this is the practice swings that we take uh, every day and we also take them every day before a ball game. Over here we're having uh, infield practice where we're just taking small um, rollers and taking them just straight to first to work on our defense. And then over here we have our pitching uh, and catching practices. And they are, this is just how they would warm up for a game. They are um, working on their pitches and pitch location. Hello, I'm Brent Whitlock and I teach computer classes here at the middle school. And behind me you'll see some of the baseball players working out, taking a little batting practice. And uh, so far this year we're halfway through our season and uh, getting better every day and just uh, I'm competing and playing hard. Well, a couple things uh, that we're in right now, you know, the baseball team, we're playing in a conference and uh, this is the second year for the conference. Softball team's first year they've entered it and it gives us a chance to um, compete against schools year in, year out and, and uh, attempt to have a, a conference championship. And, and we play uh, here on campus at beautiful Pioneer Park and uh, just like to invite everyone to uh, look in the sports section of the paper and come out and see us play because it's a, a good experience and you get to see the future of Warren County baseball and, and the future leaders of our community as they uh, participate in middle school athletics.
Sharon Hargrove. I teach English as a second language at Warren County Middle School. I am also the coordinator of our LEAPS program. LEAPS is our lottery for education after school program. It is funded through money that is um, unclaimed prize money through the Tennessee State Lottery. All of this money was set aside to provide grants for uh, organizations that would like to have an after school program. Anyone can apply for this. Uh, we have to provide service for 15 hours a week and we, our focus is of course academics. We do tutoring and academic men mentoring and we teach to the standards and skills but we also are teaching the whole child. We have activities so that they can build their self-esteem and really love to come to school. We have ballet, we have jazz, we have karate, art, we do science experiments and projects, and just lots of sports. Of course, we do lots of sports also. We do volleyball and uh, basketball and a lot of fun things just to get the kids to wanting to come. We have about 60 kids uh, signed up right now. Uh, we also have a LEAPS program at Bobby Ray, Hickory Creek, West Elementary, uh, and Dibral. And these are my girls in their ballet class. Miss Kyla Marlin, who is a student at the high school, is their teacher. She comes over once a week and instructs them in the technique of ballet. Hello, I'm Jim Carden. I am currently the president of the Warren County Middle School's PTO. A uh, couple things that we have going on are just the parental involvement, which we are very proud of, the different parents that are involved. If you would like to be involved as a parent, I uh, request that you go to the Warren County Middle School's website. Uh, there is a tab there that says PTO. Click it on, let you know what's going on. Also meetings and also other information and also a way to contact the school or to contact myself if you'd like to be more involved. Uh, we would like to have every parent and every teacher involved to, uh, to help with the support of the Warren County Middle School. 